Unit 18, body temperature. So the definition of body temperature, so temperature is really a measurement of body heat. And so it's, it's important really to understand it's indicative of um, sort of health status. So again, it's one of um, the vital signs, so determining kind of what people's baseline health status is. So kind of a quick measurement of how overall they're doing. So again, um, uh, an elevated temperature is going to be indicative of a fever, so what's going on, there's an inflammatory response, um, some sort of uh, something that the body's responding to. Or often what you'll see in, in newborns is really a decrease in temperature, an unstable temperature, and that's also indicative of a problem. So oftentimes, um, you know, it's going to be one of the first signs you'll see of sepsis in an infant. So just being really aware of accurate body temperatures and the importance they are to sort of giving a, a general um, quick measure of how somebody's health status is. So it's really the balance between heat produced and heat lost, and it may be expressed in either of two scales. So, um, I'm sorry. So we're, we're real familiar with Fahrenheit, so um, there's also Celsius. So Celsius is used in a lot of institutions, and so um, there really is no easy way <laughs> to kind of um, to go between Fahrenheit and Celsius, there is calculations, but it's important to sort of know what normal body temperature is in both of the different scales. So Fahrenheit, about 98.6. So again, it depends. Um, there is a, a slight variation there, and there is some variations depending on where the temperature is taken, which we'll talk about later. And then Celsius, um, 37 degrees Celsius. So it's just important to kind of know general normal ranges and to make sure that you're documenting uh, whatever um, scale is used in your facility. So measuring body temperature, so these probably look familiar to you. You've either kind of used these yourself with your own family or maybe have had them done to you when you um, have to access a health center. So mouth, so done orally, as you can see on the far right there. So ear, this is a tympanic, and so um, this is a very accurate measurement. This is a lot more common now in sort of doctor's offices and things like that. So you've probably seen a tympanic um, uh, measurement. Uh, temporal artery, so um, that the one in the middle there, we'll talk about that. Rectum, and then axillary or groin, so axillary underneath the armpit or groin. So thermometer accuracy, so for many years rectal temperature was considered the most accurate method. So that it was um, viewed as the internal temperature of our body, so the most accurate. So again, rectal is, is still considered accurate, but the evidence-based research has shown that the temporal artery and tympanic methods are more accurate, so most accurate. So really in terms of if you have an opportunity to do a rectal temperature or you have access to a temporal artery or tympanic tympanic thermometer, you're going to go with the temporal artery or tympanic methods because they are more accurate. So the temporal artery method is considered the most accurate. Um, the tympanic method, membrane method is also very accurate. The issue is not so much um, the method itself, it's just it's variable because sometimes people don't do um, appropriate technique. So you have to make sure that it's actually placed in the ear properly and that it's getting a good reading. So that's the issue, it's not so much the method itself, but, may it, but user error on, on using it. So it depends on the user technique. Um, and then it also makes the method less desirable because there is that room for human error. So again, the method itself is very, very accurate. It just has to be performed properly. So oral and rectal methods, so um, both considered very accurate. And again, oral is still used um, a lot because of its ease of use. So you will still use oral methods pretty frequently. And rectal is still considered an accurate method if there are, if you don't have access to temporal artery or tympanic. Um, but again, they're slightly less accurate than the other two. So the ax axillary method, so again, underneath the armpit, this is considered the least accurate. So really only used as kind of a last resort. It should only be used when other temperature cannot be obtained by other means. So you're going to try to first try with the temporal artery because not only is it the most accurate, it's also the easiest to do. Um, the tympanic method so it's also very very accurate there is a little bit of slight user error and then um, rectal oral and then lastly it's going to be axillary method